one of my favorite favorite lashes sorry that i haven't been able to upload anything last time i was in a rush i couldn't do it and then also my brushes were dirty so i had to clean all of them so that's why also i haven't been able to if you don't have your brushes clean and they're really really dirty your makeup is not going to come out nice it's going to look all cakey and then the eyeshadows are not going to blend so you have to wash your brushes at least once a week which i haven't done but so i did, i washed them two days ago so i let them at least dry for two days because sometimes they don't dry that fully so today i already did my eyebrows they're not that snatched today but oh wow so i already did that i already prepping primed this eye already so i'm gonna be doing it with you guys today i'm gonna be using the morphe 35o palette i'm just gonna be using one shade for as a transition shade and then also i'm gonna be using the bh cosmetics take me to brazil palette one of my favorite favorite palettes and this is perfect for today also i'm gonna be using this eyeshadow right here it's from the morphe it's a single shadows it's called redhead so i'm gonna be use that that's what i use as my eyeshadow you know so let's get to it all right let's get started you know so I'm going to be using this shade right here and I'm going to be using the Makeup Shack I honestly still know don't know what sh number brush this is I really don't oh my goodness sorry I, I moved it by accident because I had my phone charging so I'm going to be using this as a transition shade so I'm going to be going in the out and then I'm going to go in so just keep wiping I can't wait. I hopefully you guys have a very, very safe single the mile. Just don't drink and drive, guys. Don't because you're putting your life at risk and you're putting others at risk. Just don't. You know, if you're going to drink, stay home. Call Uber. Call Lyft. Have somebody to drive. Have a designated driver. You know, just don't. Don't do that, please. Just don't. And then, unfortunately, I'll be working all day. I'm going to I have two jobs, so today I'm going to be working both, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm going to go like that. I'm going to get closer so you guys could actually see. So I'm going out and then in. And then now, since that's already, I already put my transition shape. I'm going to use the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And then I'm going to use a Morphe Y19 brush. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. And I'm going to put that into the crease. So you're going to go into the crease. Most of the holidays, I love doing a look for the holidays. It's really, really fun. I like it. Like, I did red of it for Valentine's Day. I did, like, a red glitter for St. Patrick's Day. I did, like, a, like a green eyeshadow. So, I'm really, really excited for today. Hopefully, it comes out how I want it to. So far, this eye came out okay. You know, it came out pretty nice. So, hopefully... When everything comes together, because I'm going to be using other shades, like another eyeshadow look and a green one. And be putting some gold, you know, we got to gotta have some glitter. Got to have some glitter in here. This is a really, really, it's really easy to do today. Very simple. I don't know if you guys hear that. was my stomach growling. I'm so hungry. And then I'm going to be using a ColourPop, the blending, sh blending brush. And then I'm going to go into that Morphe Redhead shade I showed you guys earlier. And excess powder. And then now you're just gonna pack that onto your eyelid. Just pack that. And then you'll be blending once you go higher.
and then we're gonna go back to that morphe y19 brush and then whatever without getting any product we're just gonna blend blend it into the crease so there's not any harsh lines just like that and then with the makeup shack we're gonna pick up some of that shade because some of them some of it fade away so we're gonna use the same shade and then we're just gonna go um, So as you guys saw, my phone fell. So we're gonna go with that shade and then we're gonna use that to highlight the brow bone. Right. And there you go. And then now we're gonna do the white liner. So it's fun. I'm gonna be using the next, the white liquid liner. This is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, but you have to keep going over and over and it's kind of annoying. Whatever. So we're going to go from the end. Like that. Now we're gonna do the wing. We're gonna go like that. Okay, more. And then we're gonna go from the up to the end and make a straight line. <clears throat> and then we're gonna fill that in. See, it's not as pigmented. I really, so sometimes I have, I have to wait for it to dry. And to do it. It's really, really annoying. It's annoying, guys. So I'm gonna let, it, let that dry right now and then go over it after. Today I'm gonna be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And then we're just gonna put a couple coats on it. Some people say I don't need to put, oh my goodness. Oh, I hate sneezing, especially when you're doing your mascara. Oh my Lord Jesus, I'm scared. There you go. And then I'm gonna go over with them the white liner again. And I'm gonna 
go over it. So now I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then once I get back, I'm gonna put the lashes on because I'm gonna let my mascara dry and then I'm gonna be doing the rest of my eye look, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Hi, everybody. So I finished the rest of the look. It's like a green eyeshadow in the lower lash line and gold glitter. But once I have everything done, I look good. But I'm, I'm still baking right now, so I'm gonna do the rest of my eye. So I'm gonna put the lashes on. I'm gonna be using the Demi G lashes. And I'm gonna be using the dual glue. that dry a little bit and off camera I reapplied the white liner so now I'll be doing the rest so I'm gonna put these I like to start in the center I just like to place them and I'll go deep There you go, got some lashes off. And then so I'm gonna let that sit for a bit. And then now I'm gonna be doing the lower lash line. I'm gonna be using the Morphe, the Morphe M149 brush. And then also I got this single shadow. I don't know what the heck it's from. But I'm going to be using that for the lower lash line. So I'll get some. It's like an extra product. And then we're going to go on the lower lash line. Pick some more up. And we'll do this lash line on the bottom. That's it. Now we're going to do the gold glitter in the inner corner. I'm going to be using my Morphe M421. And I'm going to be using the NYX um, glitter primer. So I'm going to get some of that on the brush. And then we're just going to place that in the center. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it's so Sorry. Where you want to put the glitter, you just put the point. And then we're going to be using the next um, glitter brilliance. It's based on body glitter. So I put that on the cap and then I just get some of it. And I go to the center. So I put the primer. I put the glitter. So now I'm going to do the rest of the look and then I'll, when I'm finished, wait, oh my goodness, I'm going to cut that out and then we're going to be putting in the Tarte, the Lash Camera Lashes Mascara, we're going to put that in the lower lash, lower, the lower eyelashes.
Then now I'm gonna do the rest of my look and then once I'm done, I'll get back to you guys, okay? I'll show you guys the final look. Hi guys, that's the final look I did for today of Single Them Out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below. And I hope you guys have a safe, safe Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Trinco. Hopefully you guys have a safe one. Please do not drink and drive. You're putting your life at risk and you're putting others at risk. So please be safe out there tonight, guys. All right? Que tengo un día. Adios.